Hi there, I'm T. Marie. If you're thinking about living a tiny, whether it's in a tiny home or a trailer, I know one of the biggest questions is, what about my stuff? Yes, the beloved stuff. Today, we're going to get into what you can do with your stuff, how you can get rid of things that you already own, and how much actually better it is to have less. When it comes to your stuff, the truth is that living tiny means you're going to have to let go of items. But there are plenty of wonderful ways to do so. I know that we definitely donated. We donated to Salvation Army. That's the number one place that we like to give to. Uh, I love Salvation Army, so I highly recommend them. But there's also Goodwill, Out of the Closet, and plenty other charities that will accept your goods and be more than happy sometimes to even take them away from your home. So definite win-win there. Another thing that we did to get rid of items was we sold on Craigslist. Craigslist is a great way to list items and provide them for sale under the the terms that you want and let them go and receive a little bit of money in the process. I know for us, we put things into storage and then I would have people meet me at the public storage unit in the front near the office if they wanted to buy the item that I had listed. So definitely keep things safe get a little money but that's a way that you can do it another thing that we definitely did was we listed things on ebay ebay can be a great place even after the fees that they take out of the transaction it can be a great place to connect with people that would love to buy your stuff you make some money you become freer and they get something that they really want so that's another way that you can get rid of items finally i just want to let you know that if you're experiencing emotional attachments leave those things for last Get rid of the easiest stuff first and you'll find that pretty soon the desire to live a freer, more purpose-filled, more luxurious and open life will outweigh the outdated mode of having just lots of stuff in closets and garages and all that. No judgment here, just something I personally went through. Listen, there's plenty of ways to live tiny and have a lot of things. There are plenty of tiny home dwellers that also have their like storage units that they pay for or they also have items with a family member. I know for us, there are a few things that we do have with my father-in-law. There are a couple of larger items. We both DJ, so we have two setups and the larger one happens to be a set of turntables and a mixer. So that's something that we store with a family member, with my father-in-law. And we also have some memory boxes that have irreplaceable items, like photos and things like that. There are three of those boxes with my father-in-law. So there's plenty of ways to go about dealing with your stuff so that you can live a freer, more purpose-filled, more awesome life. And as far as benefits, I'll let you know that once we got over getting rid of those things, the fear, the uh, questioning, the um, emotional attachment, a lot of awesome benefits have occurred. So benefit number one, when you have less things, that means you have less to store, less to clean, less to pay for, less to look after, and it's freaking awesome. So that's a definite benefit. Benefit number two, one thing that happens is pretty soon because of the limited space and because of the limited storage, you are choosing to have what is obviously a favorite or something that you really love to look at or really is helpful to you. So really what ends up happening is the things around you are things that you absolutely love and it just benefits life in so many ways. It feels good, it looks good, and it's just so awesome it's just easy and this last one you can make a little bit of money and that can be something that you have fun with you pay a bill off with or you just save for it later so hopefully this eases your mind and lets you know that there's a way to make it happen if you're thinking of living tiny and wondering about what to do with your stuff I hope this video has helped you out. Please like if you like it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And definitely comment and let me know what is your most cherished possession that you could not live without and what is something that you totally want to get rid of like today. Comment below. Let me know. I'm T. Marie. I'm so happy to have you here. Have a great day. See you again soon. Bye.